Welcome back to the Komatsu virtual event at Mine Expo 2021 here in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Madison Alexander, coming to you live from the show in the Komatsu truck bed studio. We are now going to head over to the underground soft rock mining section of the Komatsu display to see how this aspect of mining is evolving. There are some major product advancements there, especially when it comes to automation. Natalia Bilbao is over in the room in pillar section right now to show us some of this. Natalia, are you there? I'm right here. Thank you, Madison. Ruben Pillar Mining with Joy Continuous Miners has been synonymous with coal production. But the fastest growing area is now in industrial minerals such as potash and salt. These machines are proving to be exceptionally productive in industrial minerals mining. Which brings me to this image here of the 12 h M46 continuous miner with the new Titan Cutterhead. This machine is massive in the underground space, being able to cut up to six meters high, more than five and a half meters wide, and weighing in at an impressive 184,000 kilograms. And it's the most powerful Joy continuous miner to date. This increase in power provides the potential for the 12 h M46 continuous miner with the new Titan Cutterhead to be 70% more productive than any other Joy miner. It's already in service in a few mines overseas and it's setting production records here in North America. Wow, so many folks in industrial mineral applications see continuous miners as great for mine development as well as maintenance type machines, but you don't really think of them as production machines, right? Right, Madison. As more operations are putting continuous miners into industrial mineral situations, they're seeing real benefits. Komatsu is actually engineering these machines specifically for industrial minerals mining to help operators achieve excellent production and utilization in these applications. For instance, the 12HM46 with a Titan cutter head can be fitted with retractable drums, making it easier to back out and reposition. This really reduces tram times, Madison. Automation is a big story at this show, especially in the underground space. Are there any advancements here? Absolutely. Automation is a major focus of Komatsu's current and future development. Earlier, I talked with the product director for Room and Pillar Products, Jim Hahi, about this very subject. Hi, Jim. How are you? Uh, tell me a bit about how Komatsu sees automation benefiting Room and Pillar Mining. Hi, Natalia. I'd love to. The major benefits for automation are in productivity and moving personnel away from the face and further from harm's way. You can see how these ideas have come to life on this wall here. The 12HM46 can be fitted with an array of sensor technology to support a mine's automation needs. We understand automation is a journey that has many phases. We are working through automating individual pieces of equipment and are working on integrating them into an entire system approach. And then back here, with sensors and software, we can have a flexible conveyor train autonomously follow the miner. This moves operators further from harm's way and can free them up to perform more essential tasks. We also have a proximity detection system to protect the operator and are making great progress on the development of a collision avoidance system to protect machines. So Jim, regardless of the level of automation, you are also getting data that can really help, right? Absolutely. Data analytics can further optimize mining cycles, help adapt to changing conditions, calculate real-time metrics for performance, and recommend adjustments. And of course, you can monitor machine health to keep the machines up and running as much as possible. I see there's lots of opportunity with new machines and new technology for advancing in the room and pillar soft rock space. Thank you so much, Jim, for being here and sharing this very valuable information with us today. You're welcome. Again, the path forward won't look the same for every operation, which is why you can also connect with any of Komatsu's subject matter experts listed below. Be sure to check out our virtual event site for more information about everything you're seeing here. Room and Pillar isn't the only soft rock mining type that Komatsu is showcasing here at Mine Expo. Natalia has moved over to the long wall experience where it looks like she's uh, underground. Well, not quite underground, Madison, but it feels and sounds like we're on a long wall face over here. As you can see, Komatsu built this very cool environment simulating a long wall operation. Customers are coming to Komatsu asking for help with the challenges of even longer faces and tougher conditions. Joy long walls are setting production records in mines around the world, and Komatsu is looking to the future. 
We're partnering with customers to create complete custom engineered and remotely managed long wall systems to meet these new challenges while also controlling costs. Two of the major themes you find here are one, features to increase production in these more challenging conditions, and two, a focus on integration that make all the pieces work well together, especially en route to more automation. Now, before we look at what is here, Komatsu announced some changes to the long wall product line earlier this year. What can you tell us about that, Madison? I can tell you a few things. So in March, we announced that we would cease fabricating and assembling powered roof supports. So are we getting out of the roof support business, Madison? Actually, not at all. We are still providing all of the backup we always have for our existing fleet, including rebuilds and upgrades. And more importantly, our design team is creating and offering new designs for roof supports with key components supplied by Komatsu. We're currently selling preferred partners that will manufacture Joy roof support designs to Komatsu quality standards. And we offer project management services to customers who want to select their own fabricator to help ensure the finished product will meet Komatsu standards. Well, that sounds great, Madison. Now, where are we headed for the future when it comes to long wall mining? Well, Komatsu is helping customers move to a largely remotely managed long wall phase with equipment that automatically makes low level changes and provides advice. And in order to support this, we're developing the systems and components that will allow for less human intervention. Now let's look at some of the performance items we have here. Earlier I spoke with Nigel Goff, Global Manager for Longwell Projects and Sales. Hi Nigel, thank you so much for being here. There's a scale 3D model of the new J7500 concept ranging arm fitted with a new concept drum. What can this mean for productivity? Hi Natalia. We're anticipating the J7500 will be the successor to the J525H arm, which has broken production records, including a one and a half million ton month in the United States. That was in a two meter seam. This arm could have about 20% more power than the J525H and still fit into the same width envelope. And being longer than our current arms, it will allow for it to achieve full cut past on tail frames using 56 millimeter chain. So Nigel, for increasing production, the physical link between the Surer and AFC is important. How can customers get more haulage pool and reliability on these long faces? We have our latest indirect drive offering, which has the benefits of standard indirect drive, but in a narrow package. And then our trapping shoe insert with the innovative slip-in design enables them to be replaced relatively quickly anywhere along the face. Well, that sounds great, Nigel. Now, we hear a lot about the importance of remotely managed operations. What are some of the advancements helping Komatsu's mining customers improve performance in this area? Well, at the heart of our automation development is a new control platform the RS20N system. It looks similar to Komatsu's current controls, but is capable of one gigabit per second data rates between every roof support node. Now that's 10 times the data transmission rates currently available on long control systems. And it's all done with no additional fiber. And data speed is key for real-time decision making. Nigel, is this RS20N system available now? It's currently available to order for powered roof supports, regardless of who made your structures, and for AFCs using the system. The first active face deployments planned for late next year. Now, when it comes to boosting performance of AFCs, I heard there's new OptiDrive VSD availability here in North America. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, the OptiDrive VSD has been operating overseas and now this variable speed drive is available in North America. So one benefit would be during heavy starts, maximum torque can be applied for a longer time than in other systems. And that gives confidence to pull away fully loaded conveyors. And of course, VFD technology compensates for the effects of voltage drop variations at peak power demand. Thank you so much for sharing these very exciting updates, Nigel. Sure, thanks, Natalia, a pleasure. Thank you for that, Natalia, and you're absolutely right. 
While full section automation is expected over the coming years, there are already control features available today to keep the face straight and in the seam. From auto face alignment to pitch steering to intelligent speed control of the Opti drive system, there are already a lot of automated and intelligent features that the team can talk to you about today. Madison, one thing I've learned in covering advancements in software mining is that the story is more than about just equipment. You know, it's about being a trusted partner. It takes a lot to get all these pieces to work together, especially as we move toward more automation while pushing productivity. That is right. These are really complex systems and they're evolving very fast. And Komatsu's experience and specialty is designing and integrating long wall systems, allowing individual components to perform together, even if it's not all Komatsu equipment. In fact, you can connect with any of Komatsu's subject matter experts listed below, because they're here to partner with you on your path towards a safer, more sustainable, more efficient operation. Now today we covered as much as we could, but you can get even more info on all of this on the Komatsu Virtual Event site. We thank you all for watching. Bye bye.